it is a great pleasure for me and a real privilege to uh, be able to address this fantastic event today. Thank you, Alexa, and thank you, Max. Uh, this will be an opportunity for me to share with you some insights into this topic of digital health and also our successful collaboration with AWS. My name is Zoran Bolovic. I'm the chief executive of eHealth New South Wales, and we are the digital center of excellence for New South Wales Health, Australia's, Australia's largest public health system. New South Wales Health is a truly world-class health system. It is also a large and complex organization with more than 160,000 staff working across 228 hospitals and providing uh, some critical healthcare services to 8.2 million residents of New South Wales. New South Wales Health's vision is to be a sustainable health system that delivers outcomes that matter to patients, is personalized, invests in wellness, and is digitally enabled. So right there in the vision statement of our organization, you can see this notion of digital enablement and digital transformation. Now to give effect to this vision, eHealth New South Wales in partnership with our local health districts has been leading a very large program over the last few years of implementing ICT infrastructure, business systems, clinical information systems right across New South Wales Health. As a result of that, New South Wales Health has become digital on the inside. And what that means is that our healthcare workers use these digital tools and platforms for their everyday work to care for patients, to communicate, to learn, and to be good stewards of our scarce healthcare resources. So having put these foundations in place, we are now turning our attention to the next and very exciting phase of this digital health journey. And this will be all about placing patients and citizens at the center of their care, empowering them to be active participants in their health and well-being. So the next phase of our strategy will enable New South Wales Health's future health strategy and themes such as value-based care, which is all about outcomes that matter to patients. It will be about elevating human experience, and that is experience of patients and experience of our staff. We will also see increased uptake and adoption of consumer-facing digital health solutions, such as virtual care, think video consultations, remote monitoring of chronically ill patients in their homes, or our world-leading telestroke service, which is saving lives across the state. We will also see patient portals and apps, such as the New South Wales Health app that we are currently building, which will help people navigate what is often a complex healthcare landscape. We will see advances in analytics, especially real-time analytics, including data captured from smart devices, and also greater application of AI in health, which we are already seeing in certain areas like diagnostic imaging. But also in parallel with this, we still have a very significant legacy modernization agenda. And this is where the cloud migration is playing a key role, along with adoption of API-enabled platforms and interoperability standards, because interoperability is a big challenge in health. So let me tell you a little bit about our cloud journey so far. Before 2018, our cloud adoption was small-scale, bespoke, usually to do with back-office systems. But in 2018, we started a significant program of critical infrastructure refresh to address aging hardware in our government data centers. We made a conscious decision at that time that we would adopt cloud as our primary and default technology going forward. And from that point on, we have started reducing our investment in replacing on-prem hardware and really amplified and accelerated migration of our systems to the cloud. To do that, we've created some foundational services. We created a cloud services team within eHealth, which has gone from strength to strength, and some of the members are here today, and you can talk to them. Invested in training and development of our staff, and then started migrating, and in some cases, Australian first migrations of some clinical information systems, which we are very proud of. And then, of course, in 2020 and 2021, we had to rise to the challenge of enabling COVID response. 
And this is where really the cloud uh, and its power in terms of agility and resilience uh, enabled us to very quickly scale and meet the needs of our amazing frontline clinicians as they work through the pandemic response. This year we have reached a milestone of about 30% of our workloads being um, on the public cloud. Another milestone we're very proud of is uh, our uh, new enterprise data lake hosted on AWS. Uh, this is a centralized repository of a vast amount of structured and unstructured data from multiple systems, corporate and clinical. Data is extracted in real time without performance impact on those operational systems, which is very important to us. It is there in the raw native format and is really a platform upon which our amazing analytics teams all around the state will now be able to create analytics products and services to solve real problems in terms of safety and quality improvements, better healthcare planning, and also innovation and research, including the use of AI. And you can hear more about this later in the program uh, from the team who is actually uh, running this project. We're also systematically capturing and measuring benefits of our cloud adoption. And as you can see on this slide, we're already accruing some really great benefits in terms of cost avoidance, tenfold increase in speed of deployment, uh, also productivity gains, as well as reduction in unplanned uh, outages and uh, maintenance windows. Now, technology is only part of the answer. It has to go hand in hand with how we as an IT organization operate, how we are adopting new methodologies like Agile and DevOps and infrastructure as a code. So we started investing a lot in actually training and developing our staff so that they have the skills and competencies for the future. In partnership with AWS, we've developed CloudStream of our eHealth New South Wales Digital Academy and more than 700 staff have already gone through this uh, program. So let me wrap up this very quick overview of digital health by sharing a few final thoughts with you. We are hugely excited about the future of healthcare and the future of digital health. And there is no doubt in my mind that healthcare reforms and modernization in this country and around the world will be underpinned and enabled by digital, by digital adoption and digital technology. In turn, we have to enable that kind of a transformation through deep engagement and partnership with the community, with healthcare professionals, and with industry. So all of us will have a role to play in this process. Digital transformation of health also will depend on the ability to adopt and leverage the power of the cloud. Health IT is on the cusp of becoming a cloud-enabled and patient-centric digital health. So let us all work together to accelerate that transition. The future of health depends on it. Thank you.